so what's up guys this is kai here and welcome to the channel kai let's keep up so today i'm gonna show you how you can build your own k-pop entertainment company in 12 steps do watch this video till the end with me and i am requesting you to watch this video till the end because in 12 steps you will be able to establish your own k-pop company if you're really willing to so let's get started so number one you need to have a uh, work experience in any K-pop labels like for four to five years. So from that experience, you will be able to gain a lot of knowledge and power. As we say, power is knowledge and knowledge is power. So if you have a good experience for four to five years, then I think you know how to acquire a K-pop company by establishing on your own because by working in a K-pop level, uh, when you work in a different K-pop level under someone, you definitely know how to do the insider's work and this will really help you to build your own K-pop level successfully. So number two, number two is to get funds or get some investors to invest in your newly established company. Because as we know that establishing a K-pop company took a million dollars or a crores in Indian currencies. So no matter where you are from, if you are in America or Europe or Asia, uh, no matter which country you are from you can establish your own k-pop company and this doesn't limit only to south korea because there are some companies uh, outside of south korea who have debuted some k-pop idols successfully so far and they are quite popular so if you go out on youtube then you can just search on youtube about k-pop artists who are not from korea but from other places so number three is buying a building or renting a building so buying a building is quite expensive i would say because because it cost a lot of money so if you have the money to buy a building to establish your own entertainment company then i would say you should definitely go for it buy out a old building purchase it and then you can renovate it to your new company and to your own style team inside the office and this will really look great into renovating into a new building if you can't buy a building otherwise you can go out to rent a building uh, there are landlords out there who be, uh, rent out their uh, buildings for commercial purposes or office purposes so in that way you can rent a building where you can establish your own k-pop company for the first time so number four is hiring staff trainers and choreographers and also technicians because without these people you won't won't be able to run a newly established company a company needs a lot of people and each people's work will contribute to a successful company in the future so in order to manage the company you will definitely need managers and then staff other staff related members other than that you will need trainers to train the trainees at your company then you will need choreographers one because once this trainees debut then they will need choreographers to choreograph their dance moves and their dance routines so definitely you will need all these choreographers trainers staffs and all so number five is marketing strategy so one of the most important thing to be able to establish a successful k-pop entertainment company is having a good marketing strategy so if you can hire marketing uh, manager or accountant so that will be really beneficial for you because they will really help you a lot in building your k-pop company into a successful k-pop company like SM Entertainment, JYP, Hype, YG Entertainment and whatnot. So all these successful and popular K-pop labels have uh, marketing managers, accountant and strategies. So because of them, they are at the top of the view today. So number six is disadvantages. So as we have seen that there are so many K-pop idol groups that have debuted in these recent years. So apart from that, I would say almost 90% of the idols they fail after debuting because these companies goes bankrupt right after debuting. They spend a lot of money without actually properly researching and investing in the right way. They do not have a strategy in which they can get double or triple returns from the money they are investing in this cape of idols that they debuted. So they fail to get the profit back and in this way a lot of companies have shut down after right after debuting some of their artists and this way you will go bankrupt and that's one of the disadvantage if you don't do your research properly and so I 
humbly request you to do your research properly and take time and take decisions wisely and schedule a meeting with all your staff members your accountant and strategies so that you can plan a strategy to your future so that you can debut your artist successfully on this stage and you can get profits in return and split them with your artist so that's what every owner of the k-pop companies they do and i want you to do that as well so number seven is recruiting artists so after establishing a new company hiring staff and running the company you will need the most important thing is trainees in your company so if you don't have trainees then how come are you going to debut artists in your k-pop label so you will need to have artists in your k-pop label you will have to hold auditions in schools or auditoriums or in famous places where students or teenagers will be interested in joining the audition so that you can pick the best of the best trainees from the training line and you will be able to debut them so number eight is one of the most important thing is hiring auditions so hiring auditions is one of the crucial thing in the whole entertainment company because auditions are the most important part where trainees they will give their best this contestant they will give their best to get selected in the k-pop entertainment company because these trainees will do their best to get selected in this k-pop entertainment company because they definitely want to make their dream come true and their dream is to become a successful k-pop idol like the famous bts exo god 7 and whatnot so do prepare auditions from time to time and yeah you will definitely get the best of the best uh, trainees out there and they will definitely work hard you will definitely have to make them work hard they will be able to debut successfully as a successful k-pop idol group in the toughest competition in the k-pop industry so number nine is establishing a dormitory so now after you recruit trainees in your k-pop entertainment where are you gonna let them live so you will definitely have to provide them accommodations meals training classes so dormitory is one of the most important thing where these trainees will reside so you will have to provide dormitories so for dormitory or you will have to talk out with some of the landlords who provide dormitories and i guess you will have to pay monthly rent hiring and accommodating these trainees will add to your budget so hiring and accommodating trainees in the dormitories will add to your budget so number 10 is debuting the best of the best trainees let's say you have 100 k-pop trainees in your company and out of 100, you would select hardly 8 K-pop trainees to become a successful K-pop group. So you will definitely have to hold internal uh, assessment or auditions inside the entertainment company like a test where you can see who are the best of the best uh, K-pop trainees and then you can pick the best of the best and you can debut them in one single lineup and make a girl group or a boy group based on the gender. So number 11 is gaining profit with debuting k-pop artists from your entertainment company so let's say you debuted a k-pop group and they are doing well in the k-pop industry they are winning music shows like music bank sbs then whatnot and they are gaining popularity they are getting sponsors and they are getting a lot of offers from brand endorsements so this will definitely make you a good profit and you will eventually get a lot of profit from all this commercial stuff and after that and what you can do is you can divide the profits uh, according to the contract basis uh, rules and policies so let's say you take 30 percent and you give 70 uh, percent to the artist so sometimes it might be like you can take uh, 40 percent and the 60 percent goes to the k-pop artist so in this way you can divide their profits and yeah you will be able to cover up all the expenses and bills of this uh, k-pop uh, artist and k-pop trainees of your entertainment company so number 12 is grow and repeat what i mean is that you have to grow using these 12 strategies and you will have to be successful in the k-pop entertainment industry so if you use these uh, 12 steps uh, very clearly and nicely and i'm sure you will be a successful entrepreneur or a ceo in the k-pop industry and yeah you can repeat these strategies and keep growing and growing and become one of the most successful uh, k-pop entertainment company like sm entertainment jyp or yg 
in today's generation so i hope you enjoyed this video we come to the end of this video for today if you enjoyed this video then let us know if you are willing to audition for k-pop then we will make a new video for you on how to pass the k-pop audition so do hit the like button also subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because this really makes us motivate to make new videos for you every single day so if you want to know what will be the impact of k-pop in northeast india then do watch this video right now and till then take care and keep watching